This is not a test. Stay tuned for further instructions. This is not a test. This video was made possible by Kovacs. More about them later. Yo, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Great afternoon, great night, doesn't fucking matter. Um, what time of day it is, I hope your day is going good. Today's video is a tutorial um, about just how to become a better aimer in general and how to become a better aimer in Call of Duty Modern Warfare fucking 2. Or really any COD, but um, yeah. So, in the background, there is some gameplay of a private match against some fucking bots, just so you have something to watch in the meantime. I have no script, so, uh, yeah. So bear with me. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's go. So, right off, um, the bat. Mm, this is, a lot of this stuff sounds really stupid, um, and I'm not a doctor, so... You know, you do whatever you want. But, first thing to become better at Call of Duty in general and aiming is to make sure you're healthy, semi healthy. Um, I'm not talking about fucking like working out and whatnot. I don't care about that. Um, that is sure that would benefit you, but we're not about talking about that. What I'm talking about is sleep. Sleeping is so fucking crucial for not even just aiming for any skill. Um, your brain needs to rest to learn. It will learn by resting. It needs to rest. That is like, I cannot, I cannot even like stress it like uh, uh, enough. It's crucial. If you are not if you're sleeping, let's say, fucking one to three hours, you're not going to be as good of an aimer if you're, let's say, we have two people at the same skill level, okay? One person sleeping seven hours, one person sleeping one. The person sleeping one is going to be trash compared to the guy who's sleeping seven. Um, it is a science. Um, I'm not a doctor, but aim theory, it, it's, it is a, a real thing, so... Again, make sure you rest. Um, don't overwork yourself. Do not play through pain. Um, I've learned through that, that the hard way. Uh, and fucked up my, my goddamn hand and my wrist. Um, yeah. Make sure you rest. Okay. Next. Make sure before you even really dive into wanting to develop more aim mechanics and just being better at aiming make sure you understand the game you're playing okay make sure you understand the maps all game sense stuff everything rotations um the map sounds where enemies are how many enemies are on the other team how many enemies are alive right now what the bomb timers are what the time it is to how, I mean, how much time it takes to cap a flag how much time until the hard point moves whatever it is right make sure you're a fucking master at that if you're not play just play cod don't worry about any other bullshit don't aim train don't don't do anything that's not cod just do cod until you can come back and say okay i'm not an i'm not an idiot and i can uh i can you know follow along here so once you can follow this video, which I'm assuming most of you are probably here to improve on aiming and you're not trash, so welcome. This is only for uh, keyboard and mouse, mouse and keyboard users, so console players, controller players, I'm sorry, you gotta leave. Um, thank you though anyways, good luck with your endeavors, um, and for everybody that stayed, welcome boys. You're you're in the you're in a good place. Keep wearing those. Let's go. Um, so, other than just playing the game, you need to. And I'm saying what worked for me. Okay, so 
When I say need to, I guess it's not really a physical requirement, but it does drastically improve your chances of becoming better um, and develop skills um, in your brain for aiming. But aim training. The video is about to cut out on the background for me, um, not for you guys, but for me, so I have no fucking clue what I'm talking over right now. Um, cause there's no script, there's nothing, but whatever. Aim training. Kovacs. Um, that's where Kovacs comes in. So I'm sure y'all already know what Kovacs is, but if you don't, let me tell you. Kovacs is a aim trainer. Um, it's on Steam. I don't know the price off the top of my head because I don't know if it's on sale or some shit. It's probably like 10 bucks around that range. Um, it is not free, clearly. Um, and there's a fucking reason for it. It is by far better than every other aim trainer. Um, and I do not care if you want to start an argument in the comments, okay? Aim Lab sells your goddamn data. They they harvest your fucking data and sell, sell it. That's how they make money. Um, anyways... So they're not really technically free, whatever. I hate aim labs, but if you like aim labs, whatever, it's cool. You can do this in aim labs, but I only have a routine for Kovacs because that's all I have been aim training with for like the last two years. I did aim labs for like a year and then switched to Kovacs uh, and stayed with Kovacs ever since. But I'm going to give you access to a aim routine regimen, not a fucking playlist, a regimen. Um, so this is something that you do daily. Monday through Friday. Um, so you're gonna have a Monday playlist, a Tuesday playlist, a Wednesday playlist, Thursday playlist, and a Friday playlist. And then Saturday and Sunday are considered off days, um, where you can either not play Call of Duty um, at all, or you can just play COD, just do not aim train. Um, try not to at least. I genuinely, generally speaking, um, will either play a little bit of COD on the rest days, Saturday and Sunday, or just no COD. Um, and yeah, so, you know, you can choose what you want to do, but yeah. So Monday's playlist is all about flicking. Um, so it's going to be primarily focusing only on that. It's these playlists, by the way, are not nine hours long. They're not going to be a playlist that you're going to just add to your little collection and it's going to just sit there. It's not going to be like that. This is something that you're going to use daily and it's multiple. There's five playlists here. Take all five. They're not long. Um, I think like the max I have on is uh, Wednesdays, which I think might be like seven scenarios total i'm not don't quote me because i might change it sometimes i edit the playlist a little bit um if they get outdated but so monday's flicking um that's common sense just working on your flicking skills um tuesday's all tracking wednesday is the most important day um at least for me and that is target switching um that, that is the most important day. That That's the longer playlist. That's like seven or eight. I don't know how many um, at the time of recording. Then you have Thursday, which is target acquisition, I believe, which is basically just like reflexes and shit. Just making sure you're acquiring targets with like your eyes and your eyes understand how to react. Um, Friday is movement, um, which is a little weird. Um, for a lot of people that aim train, it doesn't feel natural. And I understand that's why it's extremely short. Um, I hate aim training with movement. Um, I am not a fan of it. Never have been, but I force it, um, for Friday and I make it really short. The playlist is super short on Friday, so you don't have to be tortured. Um, and then you just go right back into COD. So yeah, I will be, I'm assuming as I'm recording my voice here, there will be gameplay of Kovacs somewhat just kind of showing the random scenarios. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's Kovacs. They kind of sponsored this video, kind of, I say, because they gave me access to something called Kovacs Benchmarks for free to uh, tell you guys about it, to give a review, kind of. So Kovacs Benchmarks is basically a subscription-based 
uh, monthly uh, playlist kind of in a way um, you are tested on every skill that can be tracking flicking target acquisition target switching clicking um, I don't know there's a lot of movement I think is in there too uh, and then you are given a rank so I, I think it's like bronze silver gold and then it just keeps going um, and you're given a rank and then you can play those benchmarks whenever and try to improve and it'll tell you what you're doing wrong basically it's like a more detailed version of Kobax if you really want to be like extremely um, scientific about it I guess like if you really care then benchmarks is probably a good choice um, to try it's not very expensive um, I'm not going to quote the price because I'm sure the prices fluctuate and again I was given it for free as a uh, for this video for reviewing um, I used it for 30 days um, and honestly it if I was a normal user and I didn't I and I didn't get it for free um, I probably for me personally would not pay for it because I don't see the value in it um sorry Kovex um again they're not it's not really I can say what I want being honest um you know the Kovex itself is just such a great game uh, aim trainer they have so much stuff just in the general thing so I, I don't see the need to pay extra just so you can kind of see like more stats um they're helpful don't get me wrong but i'm at the point my skill level um i don't need it but if you're a, a more like a beginner with kovacs i recommend it because it will tell you exactly what you're doing kind of wrong how to improve where you are it, it, it's just helpful um so thank you though kovacs for i uh, sponsoring i don't even know really what the word would be give me a free month to review that and tell you guys about it okay now let's move on to the game car so when you're done your aim training um so basically you want to aim train that playlist for each day before you play like right before you play then just go right into playing try to play and i know people um everybody has different like schedules you know people work people um i don't know you some people can't sit down and play 25 hours or whatever right so what I do um, is I set out two hours um, and I play for two hours you can do it however you want just try to get a, a lot of time um, in the game itself um, because that is going that's going to improve um, your aim more a lot of people think playing aim trainers more it, it helps more or whatever I don't even know how to fucking ink, make that English but no it doesn't um, I have like across a, a lot of accounts I have like 3k hours in aim labs and well, I'm gonna say like a good 7 in Kovacs um, 7,000 and yes that is a lot um, an excessive amount but I have just as much hours in COD, more hours in COD. So make sure you're playing the game itself more than you are aim training. If there, that is not, if you are doing the opposite, then you're doing something wrong, period. Um, anyways, so get on COD, play whatever, you know, your preferred game mode is, your preferred whatever, okay, just play it. Um, and really for that day so let's say you're on Monday right you do the flicking playlist for Monday when you go into COD after you play like one or two or three like good warm-up games try to focus when you're in game on you know that playlist for that day so try to like work on flicking um, and then for Tuesday try to like focus more on the tracking side um, and just try to like force yourself to it's gonna take a couple days maybe weeks to get adjusted to to truthfully benefit um because 
your playstyle kind of changes. My playstyle is very awkward, um, and I don't recommend copying it, but I'm giving you the best playlist that I made personally because I, every other playlist was either A, there was like certain things that were just trash in it, or extremely like difficult and just made me up like frustrated or some shit. Um, I don't believe that you should be fucking frustrated while you're trying to aim train. Um, so, anyways, get in the COD, play a couple matches, focus on that day's, um, that day's goal or whatever. Lucking, tracking, target switching, etc. Um, and then you can, I, I would say focus on not the entire time when you're playing. So like, let's say you play for two hours. Focus like for an hour of that game play on, let's say it's Monday. Looking for an hour, like focus just on that solely. And then for that last hour, just fucking have fun. Go for clips, go for whatever you do, right? Um, and do that throughout the week. Um, and you're going to see improvements. Now, what cost does it come with other than the price of Kovex? Um, yes, you can skip Kovex. You can go to Aim Labs. Uh, I do not have a routine for that though. So make your own routine. Um, maybe, you know, use someone else's routine. You don't have to use my routine. My routine is different than the, a, a lot of people. I don't see many people using a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday type playlist where it's a regiment, not a one time like playlist because it gets boring. So that's really it for the aiming side. I'm not going to be able to really give you any. There's no secret. Okay. You have to play and you have to aim train. Okay, whether you aim train in game or in Kovacs or aim labs or fucking whatever, that's up to you. But make sure you are aiming and training that. Training that aim. Next, there is some settings. Um, again, I don't have the fucking video in the background when I'm recording this, and there is no script, so I'm just hoping I'm I somehow cut this together correctly. But the settings that are most important um are gonna be obvious the sensitivity don't don't fucking copy people's sense don't copy people's dpi just, just don't there's no fucking point all of that stuff is relative to you um the one thing i do recommend if you want to like aim like i do where your mouse like fucking breaks and it skips frames is set your pulling rate as low as possible so it creates errors um so mine's at 125 hertz instead of the default 1000 but in game the settings the most important is going to be the um and i again i don't have the video running but it's i believe it's like ads uh i i put text on the screen if i fucking mispronounce whatever it is it's like ads fov or sensitivity scaling i don't i don't fucking know some, something like that right you want that to be adaptive i believe instead of independent um whatever the other option is not independent if you have it set to independent what happens is a lot of fucking visual recoil so recoil that is just visual to you only so it's just animations bullshit animations that the developers put in the game just to make it feel more realistic is shown um on your screen than it is with the affected with affected it makes it more minimal um less recoil basically visually um so you're able to kind of beam kids across the map a little easier uh and the guns everything just feels a lot smoother um if you use affected independent you'll get a lot of recoil um like visual recoil it doesn't change how the gun actually works it's just the visuals okay make sure you know that that is like one of the most important things then make sure you're playing a 120 FOV um, that I highly recommend. And uh, 
that's really it for the settings. That is the most important setting. That setting really helped me. Like it jumped my aim the second I started changing that. Before it felt like God, Modern Warfare 2 was just so like sluggish and I, I hated it. I hated the recoil, I hated everything. Uh, even with recoil attachments, you still had so much visual recoil. The second I changed that, it was so much better. So, recommend doing that. Um, this video is all over the place, like I said. Don't know the script, but I believe that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, if I am, I'll add it to the video. I just gotta stop the recording. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Comment. If you have questions, I'll be happy to answer. Um, I'll also, in the description, and I'll actually pin it in the comments too, all the uh, playlists for Kovacs, the share codes, um, I'll paste them all. So you can just copy and then paste it into Kovacs yourself so you can add them all. Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to subscribe. You don't have to. I would appreciate it though, obviously. Um, I just enjoy making content. That's it. Not in it for the money. Like some people think. I don't know why people think that. But anyways. Peace out everybody. Have a great fucking rest of your day. See you next time.